cute. positive last week I started to feel like a bit of a sore throat I had like a really bad feeling and I was like mm, this is not this is not just a sore throat and sure enough when I did the test it was positive um, I think I caught it at work because a couple of colleagues of mine also all tested positive at the same time um, it's been quite rough uh, the first couple of days really were not pleasant had pretty high fever um, and like shivers and stuff but now Thankfully, I am feeling lots better. Uh, at this point, it kind of just feels like a normal cold. My voice is still a little bit hoarse from like coughing at night, but it's been it's been okay. It's been manageable. And thinking back at how bad people's symptoms were like last year and stuff, I feel extremely privileged to have had both my vaccines before I got COVID because I think my symptoms would have been way worse had I not been vaccinated. Either way, feeling very, very proud of my body for having somewhat recovered. Um, I'm still in my isolation period though. This is day six out of 10, so four more days to go. I kind of feel like I needed the rest as well. I had been feeling quite tired for a couple of weeks leading up to this as well, and just work was so busy. Um, and I was just like really looking forward to Christmas so that I can properly take some time off. But yeah, this has kind of forced me to take some time off early and I think my body is very grateful for it as well because I, I do feel a lot more, just a lot more rested in general and I've just been um, binge watching Harry Potter, um, watching the rest of the marathon by myself, uh, so that's been fun and yeah, just really giving myself a good, good long break. So I really recommend like if, if you do get it, just try to think of it on the bright side, make the most out of your isolation period, get lots and lots of rest, eat lots of good food, and really just like replenish your body with everything that it needs. And hopefully you should be up and running before you know it. I was really craving this pasta dish that I had once, so I got it for takeaway and they gave me loads of extra parmesan as well. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs> of isolation and I thought I would do a little end of the year sort of wrap up 
journaling session. So I've got my journal here and I thought maybe I'd share some journal prompts with you guys in case you are interested in doing this too. I tend to do, I mean I journal fairly frequently um, but I particularly like doing it at the end of the year just to sort of wrap up my thoughts and it gets me to reflect on the year and not kind of live too idly. I like to be, I like to try and be as present as possible and as aware as possible and just like as introspective as possible so I think journaling really helps me do that and really helps me reflect on like what has actually happened this year and what am I actually grateful for and what do I want to work towards next year so yeah that's something that I do every single year and I thought maybe this time I would share my process <sighs> process or process my English pronunciation is really off these days anyways I thought I would share my process with you guys too in case you want to um, try it yourself. So I found some journaling prompts for specifically for end of the year. So I'll just read them out to you in case they are, they trigger something in you and they inspire you to also do your own reflection. Um, I guess this can be done in the form of journaling. It can also just literally be you sitting and reflecting and not writing anything down. Um, but just kind of thinking about these things or even if you wanted to do it as a group I think this would be quite cute to do with like a group of very close friends just like kind of going around in the circle asking each other these questions and maybe sharing and maybe that'll make your group become closer as well question one is what challenge did you overcome this year it doesn't even have to be a challenge that you have overcome it could also just be something that you are still dealing with right now so mainly just like what is the biggest um, difficulty that you are going through this year or that you have gone through this year maybe then uh, as a follow-up question what did you learn out of it or do you feel like you've grown since um, do you feel like you've changed in any way because of it um, that could be a nice question and then on, on the other spectrum what are you most proud of this year that you have sort of done it could it could be anything it doesn't have to be a massive like achievement um, although it could be um, but it could also just be like a conversation that you've had or um, yeah maybe just a realization that you've come to yourself what did you learn about yourself this year who made your 2021 much better who are you most grateful for what are you holding on to currently that is no longer serving you what is one small step you can take towards releasing it? So I guess that could be more of a reflection of what you want to improve on next year that you haven't been doing so well this year. Mm. And lastly, what is your favorite memory of 2021? I'm gonna start journaling now. Feel free to do the same if you want to or if you prefer to just think about it. Um, later on that's fine too. I feel like I'm leading some sort of meditation session right now. <laughs>